Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, DEF uh, fully inscribed in a square ABCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram. Such that the area of this uh, square is uh, 968 uh, square units, and moreover, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, triangle are equal. So, therefore, this is an equilateral triangle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the side length uh, of this uh, square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the area of this given uh, square is uh, 968. So therefore, the side length uh, of this square is going to be simply the square root of uh, 968. And now I have copied down uh, this uh, 968 with the square root over here. And if we simplify, this turns out to be 22 times uh, square root 2. So, therefore, the side length uh, of this square is going to be 22 times the uh, square root of 2 units. So, therefore, the side length uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 22 times square root of 2 across the board. And now, let's recall this uh, crucial fact. Angles of an equilateral uh, triangle are uh, 60 degrees each. And since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle uh, DEF, so, therefore, all uh, these angles are going to be 60 degrees uh, each. And now, in this uh, next step, we are going to label uh, this uh, equilateral triangle uh, DEF. Let me call this uh, length uh, lowercase a. Then all these uh, side lengths are going to be lowercase a as well. And now, let's make an observation. We can see that this... Uh, side length uh, DC is equal to this side length uh, AD and moreover this uh, length uh, DF uh, is equal to this length uh, DE. So therefore by symmetry this segment uh, FC is going to be equal to this segment uh, AE. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ADE is congruent to this uh, other triangle uh, CDF according to side 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 uh, congruency theorem. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle. And since this whole uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 15 degrees. And likewise, this angle is going to be 15 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADE. And now let's recall uh, so Cartwa and we are interested in uh, cosine of 15 degrees that is going to be equal to adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. So therefore, for this uh, angle 15 degrees, uh, this uh, is going to be our adjacent and this is going to be our hypotenuse. So therefore, uh, cosine of uh, 15 degrees is going to be equal to 22 times square root of uh, 2 divided by A. And if we use the cross multiplication property, then we can write this equation as a equals to 22 times the square root of 2 divided by cosine of 15 degrees. And now let me show you how to find the exact value of cosine of 15 degrees. And now let's recall this uh, angle difference property. Cosine of alpha minus beta could be written as cosine of alpha times cosine of beta plus uh, sine of alpha times uh, sine of beta. 
and since we are interested in 15 degrees so therefore I'm going to call alpha as 60 degrees and beta as 45 degrees so therefore the difference of them is going to be 15 degrees as you can see in this uh, next step and now we know that cosine of 60 degrees is 1 divided by 2 cosine of 45 degrees is uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 and finally sine of 45 degrees is uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step on the left hand side uh, we got uh, cosine of 15 degrees so therefore the exact value of cosine of 15 degrees turns out to be square root of 2 divided by 4 times 1 plus square root of 3 and now we are going to substitute this cosine of 15 degrees value at the denominator over here so therefore we can write a equals to 22 times the square root of 2 divided by this is going to be square root of 2 divided by 4 times 1 plus square root of 3 at the denominator. And now we can see this square root and this square root is gone. So therefore if we simplify furthermore the right hand side A is going to be equal to 4 times 22 is going to give us 88 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 so therefore our a value turns out to be 88 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 and moreover we know that a represents the side length of this triangle so therefore the side length of this green triangle turns out to be 88 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this uh, triangle here we got uh, side lengths uh, a and b and c is the angle in between so therefore for this uh, given uh, triangle uh, these are our uh, side lengths uh, and this angle is 60 degrees in between them so therefore the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be a half uh, times our side length uh, is uh, 88 divided by 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 times once again 88 uh, divided by 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 times sine of our angle uh, 60 degrees and now we know that sine of uh, 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 over here and once we simplify the right hand side we are ended up with the 1936 times square root of 3 at the numerator and at the denominator we got 1 plus square root of 3 whole square and now let's focus on this uh, denominator and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial so therefore this is could be written as 1 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 3 and if we combine like term that is going to give us 4 plus uh, 2 times the square root of 3 or simply we can factor out 2 so we got uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore I can replace this uh, denominator by this uh, 2 times 2 plus uh, square root of 3 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this denominator by this uh, quantity and now we are going to reduce 1936 uh, divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step we got 968 uh, times square root of 3 divided by 2 plus uh, square root of 3 and now we are going to rationalize the, this uh, denominator by multiplying and dividing by 
is conjugate which is going to be 2 minus uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 minus uh, square root of 3 as well and now we are going to multiply these uh, numerators and likewise we are going to multiply these uh, denominators as well and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as uh, a square minus b square and we are going to apply this identity at these conjugates uh, at the denominator so therefore uh, the denominator is going to simply become uh, 2 whole square minus uh, square root of uh, 3 whole square and this uh, 2 square is 4 minus 3 is going to give us uh, 1 so therefore the denominator turns out to be simply 1 as you can see in this uh, next step if we multiply the numerators we are going to get 968 times uh, 2 times square root of 3 minus uh, 3 and at the denominator is going to be 1 so therefore the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, turns out to be 968 uh, times uh, 2 times square root of 3 minus 3 square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 968 times uh, 2 times square root of 3 minus 3 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 449.25 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye